1942 to 43, Great Britain was fighting for her life. Nazi Germany had taken over essentially the whole of Europe and Great Britain stood alone. In late 1942, the Americans joined the war, but their troops were poorly trained and inexperienced. It would be another 18 months before they were ready for battle. It was necessary for all of Britain to pull together, and not a resource could be wasted. Carl Toner operated a factory, and the works department decided to shut that factory down so that its workers could be released to the war effort, and so that the premises could be used for the war effort. The owners of the company were not happy and challenged the decision. One of the grounds for the challenge was that the relevant statute gave the power to requisition factories to the Works Commission, and in particular to the First Commissioner, who was in fact the relevant minister. This decision, however, was signed by a departmental official and not by the minister. The statute did not give the departmental official the power to make the requisition decision. So Carl Toner argued the decision was invalid, it was ultra vires. It had been made by someone who lacked the necessary power. Lord Green, the Master of the Rolls, found that this argument was unsound. He said, in the administration of government in this country, the functions which are given to ministers are functions so multifarious that no minister could ever personally attend to them. To take the example of the present case, no doubt there have been thousands of requisitions in this country by individual ministers. It cannot be supposed that this regulation meant that in each case, the minister in person should direct his mind to the matter. The duties imposed on ministers and the powers given to ministers are normally exercised under the authority of the ministers by responsible officials of the department. Public business could not be carried on if that were not the case. Constitutionally, the decision of such an official is, of course, the decision of the minister. The minister is responsible. This passage established what is known as the Carl Toner principle, or the alter ego doctrine, that the powers given to a minister may properly be exercised by officials within the minister's department, but that the minister remains responsible for the decisions. Mm-hmm.